Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about some of my favorite masks and bombs that I have fallen in love with. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so don't mind the hair. Kind of just, I've been rocking the messy hair. I don't know, I've been liking just being kind of messy with my hair. Um, so don't mind that. Some of these are going to be Curly Girl friendly and some of them are not. Uh, for those of you who are coming in because of watching my Curly Girl Method videos, um, I'll give you the disclaimer which ones are good for Curly Girl and which ones are not. Um, I'll do the Curly Girl ones first and then go over the other ones. So first things first, I won't talk about this one too much, but it's the Not Your Mother Sicilian Blood Orange and Black Currant. This was my third one that I'm on. Uh, just amazing. Great slip. It is a, like, it's a butter mask and it really is like a thick butter. Um, it's just great. It smells great. Uh, I like that it's in an easy squeeze tube. Just really love it. Um, I've been making sure that I've been doing a deep conditioning treatment once a week, sometimes twice. When I first got done doing all that stuff you guys see, my timeline's really weird. I know I sucked at doing videos. I kind of did a hiatus for five months. Um, but I did some of them in January, some were in February, and then like, then I started, like, taking better care of it because I did so much to it. I've just been leaving it be. Um, just kind of adding moisture and oils and really just, like, giving it love. Uh, no heat since March, so that's good. But I absolutely love this. Uh, I use this a lot, especially when I first got done doing all that stuff I did to my hair. So, definitely, it was needed. One of my favorites. You guys heard me talk about this already before if you've been subscribed to my channel. It's the Garnier Fructis Hydrating Treat 1 Minute Hair Mask. They have these in smaller sizes and big ones. I recommend, um, well, try it out first in the smaller ones, but if you know you like it, try to get a big guy every time. I have such a hard time getting my hands on one of these big fellas. I can always find the smaller ones uh, at CVS and Target very easily and Walmart sometimes. Um, but when Target has the big guys of these, I try to hurry up and buy them. It smells, oh, it smells so good. I did get a newer one since because you guys saw that I had dipped into my bigger guy from the last time. Uh, so now he's in my shower and this is my latest one. Um, but I absolutely love it. Uh, it's just so good. I like how this is a two-in-one where it's a mask and a leave-in. So I like to use it as my mask um, just while I'm doing everything. And then mostly rinse it out and then take more and just kind of focus it as a leave-in and take my time in there. And just so you guys know, I make sure to use all my silicone-free products before I put on a silicone product, just so that then I'm getting all the moisture as much as possible in and then kind of putting the silicone on top of it to hold it in. I don't know how good that is, but this is a hair experiment. We're just having fun. Um, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a professional. We're just having fun. I know some people will hate me for using silicones and other people, they don't care. Uh, personally, I don't really care either way either, but it's just for fun. We'll see how it works, all that. Um, one of my favorites, as you can tell, I need to get another one. It is the Herbal Essences. This is new. Uh, it's the Bio Renewal. Uh, Renew, my bad. Uh, coconut Milk and Aloe. They also got one with Argan Oil. I can't use that one, but if you can, that's probably awesome too. It smells so good. Oh, it literally is one of the best smelling hair masks ever. Um, Zero parabens, no colorants, no sulfates, no mineral oil. It's pH balanced and color safe. Uh, leave it on for at least a minute. I leave it on the whole time I'm in the shower. It is great. It is so amazing. Definitely will pick up another one. Uh, the first place I've so far been finding this or been able to, you know, see it in the stores was personally CVS around me. Um, maybe you'll get lucky somewhere around you, but that's where I was able to find it was CVS. And I'm not sure if this is Curly Girl Method approved or not. Um, I have no idea. I'm like 50-50 on some of these because I don't know what they are. But this is amazing. Um, this is the OGX Replenishing Water Balm. Uh, it's a leave-in mask. Guys, this stuff is great. It It's like literally skincare for your hair though. It's very fresh. It's not too fragrant. But it's almost like... Actually, I should show you very light. Your hair will drink this right up. Um, I really love this. As you can tell, I'm almost out. I plan on buying another one. 
depending on what I'm doing to my hair that day is depending on what products that I'll use. Um, well, I should say for like those next few days. Um, if I know I'm going to wear them curly for the next few days, I might use one set of products. If I know I'm just going to like have it be like how this is right now, where I kind of really, like I didn't style it. Um, I just kind of like let it air dry and it looks kind of like this. For today's hair, I did the Natural Mother's Royal Honey Shampoo Conditioner. I took and I put this in and then I left it in for a few minutes and then I washed it mainly out, left it in as a leave-in, just on the ends. And then when I got out of the shower, I put um, some of this in as well as the Royal Honey Spray. Um, I put the Royal Honey Spray on first and then this, just so I get as much as the non-silicone products into my hair. And then the other stuff that I'm not sure if it has silicones or if I know it does, I put that on after almost to like lock it in. Um, that's at least what I'm trying to do. That's what I was recommended to do. So that is what I'm trying. Uh, but I love this. I got this on Amazon. I've never seen this personally in the store. So, love it. Alright, this does have silicones in it. But I absolutely love it. I love the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. Um, it's in like a weird little tube. You kind of just squeeze it out from the bottom. Uh, I do not have that right now. I use mine all up. But this is another great one. It is the 3 Minute Miracle Curls. It is with coconut and Australian jojoba oil. Um, it's just so great. Like if you think the 3 Minute Miracle is like really good and rich, this is even richer and thicker. I love the big pump. The pump on it is actually great. Uh, it's just amazing. I uh, highly recommend this. Uh, this does have... Where is it? it does have dimethicone in it, so if that's something you're unsure of and you're not wanting to use, then that's going to be a no for you. But if you don't mind, this is great. Like, this is so deep conditioning that it is amazing. Uh, and I do notice if I use this, I have a really good uh, curly hair day. Uh, so, just as a heads up, uh, really, really love this though. So highly recommend, or the 3 Minute Miracle, just the regular ones from Aussie. And they got different ones too, depending on what your hair needs. But uh, yeah, those are some of my favorite masks I've been using. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and please be sure to subscribe. And let me know down below what are some of your favorite masks. And do you guys follow the Curly Girl Method? What do you guys think of silicones? I'm so curious to know what you guys are thinking, what your thoughts are, and your favorite products. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.